Hi everyone, I'm Papa Boris, and in this video I'm going to start a playthrough of Hunt Down. In case you're not familiar, this is a sort of old school 2D side-scrolling shooting game. I'm playing as Mo Man, who is my favorite of the three different bounty hunters. He's, uh, forget what it's called, scouting droid or something, not to be confused with John Sawyer, who is a cyborg. So in this game, you can shoot. You've got a special attack. For Mo Man, it's three knives. You can dash. You can also dash in the air, straight down, or if you're moving, it'll be at a diagonal. And then there's one more button that you need to know about, and that's basically the button to activate. Either pick up a weapon or pick up a grenade or open a door. I like Mo Man the best of the three characters because his special is really cool. The other two char characters' specials have a limited range, but his shoots three knives out in a straight line a very long distance. It's the only special that actually will like go off the screen completely. One little tip, by the way, about the special. If you look in the upper left to the right of my health bar, after I throw the knives, the three knife symbol turns black and then it gradually fills up with color. When it gets up to the top, my special is recharged. However, there's also an auditory cue if you listen for it. That shwip sound means that the knives are back, and all three characters have an auditory cue like that, so you don't have to push the button hoping the special is back, or look up there to wait for it to come back. You can just listen for that sound. Now, I am not a crazy person. Unfortunately, I'm not that good at this game, so I'm not playing on badass difficulty. We're just playing on hard, which means I have three hit points, and I will try to 100% at least the early levels. This means, in order to 100% a level, you have to kill enough enemies. Up above the resume button, you can see the currently saying 0, 04 out of 30 with a skull symbol. So for this level, you have to kill 30 enemies to get that badge. The middle badge is the survivor badge, is what you get for beating the level without ever dying. And then the final badge, the thing with the briefcase that says 0 out of 3, that's the badge you get if you collect all three stashes. The Each level has three stashes hidden in it somewhere. The Degree of hiddenness varies from level to level and stash to stash. Some levels are easier than others. Some are more overt than others. This is the first level, so it's not super crazy, but actually one of the stashes is pretty well hidden. You have to blow up that barrel to get the first stash. Now let's pick up the sub gun. Just an FYI, you can only carry one weapon at a time other than your default weapon. So, for example, after I kill this person with a shotgun, if I pick up the shotgun... Well, hang on a second. If I... Hello? A lot of enemies. If I pick up the shotgun, I will drop the subgun, but you'll notice it says 33 on top. It still has 33 bullets. So I can go back and pick it up later if I wish. Okay, so here we have our first little mini boss, which also teaches you the importance of taking cover. You can take cover behind boxes, or if there's these little alcoves, you can take cover in them as well. I'm gonna kick that person out of cover. You can walk up to things. Oh shoot, almost died there. You can walk up to people who are hiding and you can kick them out of hiding. Of course, that also works the other way. If you're in hiding and someone comes up to you, then you are gonna be toast. There's a stash here, it's kind of floating below, so if you move down to the next level, you get it. And when you see that symbol, it's a checkpoint. When you get to a checkpoint, you get all your health back, and if you die, you respawn back at the last checkpoint that you passed. Although, of course, it does mean that, uh, that explosion does nothing. It does mean that you don't get the badge for surviving the level. So you have to manually restart the level if you want to get that badge. Okay, that person has a shotgun, so their range is limited. I'm not worried about it. Oh, I could not duck from that person's pistol shots. Let's go pick up this old 50. And we're just going to annihilate these people. One thing the computer loves to do is hide behind explosive barrels. That is a frequent way of getting people to die. Right now, I've already killed enough people, so I'm not going to go bother killing that person up there with a knife, but I will jump up here to get the third stash. Oh, are you gonna, are you gonna chase after me? Oh, you are! Okay, well, have it your way. So, we haven't died, we caught all the stashes, we killed all the people, and now we go to a boss. Gotta hand it to the game, it's the first boss, 
But out of all the bosses, this one has like one of my favorite introductory cinematics and also one of my favorite opening lines. Check this out. Get it? Because he just kicked a police person into the air and a nickname for police officers is pigs. So for a lot of bosses, a strategy that you need to use is to save your special weapon for later when they go to like a second phase or something. I'm not going to worry about that here because this is a pretty straightforward boss. He just comes at you, he has a wind up and, and throws a projectile with a very clear intent. So it's not super hard to dodge it. Just, you know, stay far away from him. Use your special. Move down to the next level. This is one of the important skills in Hunt Down. Oh, if I was on badass difficulty, I would have died. One of the important skills in Hunt Down is navigating levels and also using the right bumper, if you're playing on a controller, to do the dash. Dashing is often very important for keeping a safe amount of distance between you and the boss. But all right, there's that level. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. Please like and or subscribe and I'll see you again soon. Take care.